Booze, babes, and coke. Boy, Kramer seems to be quite the party animal. This dude think he really getting it in right now. He is, though. He got three of them. Oh, he working them. Can I get in? Shelby, get you, get you some of that. Shelby, you're embarrassing me. Yo, you already see it. Y'all already see it. Look. Look. I just want to let you know. This summer has been incredible. You protected my head from so much sweat. And without you, this channel would be nothing. Thank you, thank you. Not only is Beanie back because the Rams, you feel me? We're, we're back. We're back in season. We had we played the 49ers the other night. Beanie got a brother, y'all. Don't think Beanie don't have don't don't think Beanie don't have siblings. Don't think Beanie don't have siblings. We swagging it up this this this, this, this winter. We swagging it. We we, we we swagging it up and we swagging it out this winter. <laughs> What's good y'all? Welcome back to another Heavy Rain episode. Now I know that I've left y'all for a, a decent amount of time. I know these, these games ain't for everybody. I know not everything I play is gonna be for everybody watching. But like, if you know me, you know I'm gonna try and make it as fun as possible. Or at least as funny. It's actually starting to pick up though. Um, as we remember, we left off. Let's remember our characters. Ethan, Shelby, uh... Jaden, we don't know her name, but Ethan, everybody remember who's focus now? We just went through five miles driving the opposite direction on the freeway to get directions to where his son is. A few letters of the dire of the of the address. Wasn't even the full address, it was a few letters. Okay, okay, okay. It's Wednesday now, remember. Now who is that? That look like who is that right there? That looked like Nico Bellic, GTA 4. What y'all know about it? Okay. See? Okay, okay, let me chill, okay. What, what are you thinking about it though? Okay, let's just do it. I'm tripping. So she finally has uh, her, uh, hold up. Cause I, I can already see my mic peeking. Why is it peeking like that? Y'all y'all, 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 don't even know what that means, but hopefully it sounds okay to your ears. Okay. Sorry. What's she saying y'all, hold on. She look like damn Judge Judy. Mixed with a little bit of pug. Okay, what do you what are we thinking? Insomnia. I'm worn out. I've gotta sleep. Okay. What what about the reception? Let's hope they've got a room left. Oh, okay, so interesting. So you haven't even gone you haven't even gone back home yet. Let's let's go to the diner. Are you hungry? Okay, she not hungry. This is pretty cool. I get to walk around the city, though. Okay, they gonna force me inside. Interesting how they did that. That's fine. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just pay attention. The atmosphere here is one of concern, as there is still no news of ten-year-old Sean Mars who disappeared yesterday. Oh. A recent report indicates that the police are now treating this as another kidnapping by the Origami Killer. Okay. If okay. If this information is confirmed, he may still be alive as the previous victims were all killed three to five days after their abduction. Obviously, time is running out fast for the investigators all right. trying to find the child. You and are taking serious dumps. Why is that right behind the front desk? There's no hallway? Ugh! Sheen from Jimmy Newton. Hello there, sweetheart. What can I do for you? I'd like a room. For you? Anything. <laughs> Feeling the register. You didn't wash your hands at all. Dirty scum. What are you doing with your mouth? That's that meth stretch. Okay, what are we doing now? 
You know he's on some shit when he keep going like this with it. He just hit some shit in that bathroom. I'm gonna stop cussing. Madison Page, Madison. 27, single. Stop it. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? Stop. I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Don't this dude Thanks. look like, don't this dude look like James Franco? was all mine. James Franco That's a little bit? Sure. Hold on, let me just look at him real quick. Don't he look like James Franco? He was just checking out my ass. Don't he look like James Franco a little bit? More like James Funko, funky ass. Okay, that's all I wanted to say, man. Let me tell my jokes. Room 201, stairs on the right, last floor. Okay, she, she, mm, she, she could get it. Okay, let me chill. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. The thought of it leaves me in a cold sweat. The fact that women even have to think about things like that is disgusting. Hold up, can we talk to other humans? Or is there no human interaction? Sir? Uh... Uh... Who do he look like, y'all? He look like this dude from my old high school named Franklin. The thing about Franklin, y'all, let me tell you about Franklin real quick while we walk here. This dude, Franklin, came over to the homie's house one day, right? And we was all just hanging out at the house, not doing nothing. And so... <laughs> and so the homie brought out some ice cream and was like, oh, get yourself a bowl to me and Franklin. Tell me why Franklin takes the whole tub, eats the whole tub in front of all of us. His first time Sir? over... <sighs> Are you all right? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. Oh, this is after the car accident. After he blew up his Chevelle. I mean, his Chevy. Chevelle. Huh? Chevrolet. Okay, come on. Let me help you. Um... He's really out of it. What the hell happened to him? Why she still got K? Mm. He doesn't want to go to. <sighs> Have you got the key? Come on, Ethan. I'm gonna try and help you score it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna try and help you find your son. Come on, y'all, focus. I'm gonna try and help him. I'm gonna try and help him find his son. He needs closure. He needs to close those wounds as well. Look, it's none of my business. I'll just leave him there and tell the receptionist. That's one option. I'll help him first and ask questions later. That's another option. He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. And that that's her conscience. We'll you'll help him then. You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I was thinking your about something else. Bleeding. It looks deep. She said your head is bleeding. It looked deep. You know he has. I should disinfect his cuts. Okay, well, check. Medicine. There's bound to be a medicine cabinet in the bathroom. Don't make me choose. Oh my gosh. Just get it all. I should disinfect his cuts. Okay. Dude, what kind of gameplay? This is the part where I'd be like... Necofrin 100 antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. Is that how you disinfect cuts? What are you... What is this? Are those pills? Dude, get the... Paraphenol anti-fever. Administer no, only okay. in cases of high fever. It, it, it's, it's the combat wounds, because that pair combo shit, let me just read what it is, just in case. He in there. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Okay, well, let's, let's not take that, because I feel like that's going to increase his bleeding. Necofrin 100 antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I don't think he needs that. 
then why why would it sound the best still? Nico Farron, get the surgical spirit then. That's probably the next best. I should disinfect his cuts. Okay, that's the first thing she say when, when she opened that. Imagine I would have given him the wrong medicine. He could come in here and start vomiting or something crazy like that. That'd be I'm tight. I'm going to disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. Okay, disinfect it. Okay, that's me still. Do it slightly. Do it slowly and slightly. There you go. Do it slowly and slightly. What are you doing? Rolling a boiled egg across his, across his wounds? Big ass wound egghead, huh? There. At least it won't get infected. I'm excited to be back. Thanks. You want some painkillers? Are we gonna talk? You gonna tell me what you got underneath the bed? Or I'm just not supposed to know anything. Let me see. You want a cold beverage? I got you. Hold on. That's not an option yet. He needs some. He needs some. He needs some. He needs some morphine with it. I'm about to give him this painkiller though. Paraphenol anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. Okay, no, he don't. He don't have that, but he can't. Get the. I can't remember these medicines, dude. What is trip? Necrofrin 100 antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. No, no, no. But you know what I'm wondering now? What is trip though, y'all? What is trip though? Why do we give Paracamol that? Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Yeah. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. <sighs> Here, bro. Pop one of these. Here. Take this. It should do you what some is good. The painkiller. It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. Don't snatch. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. I can't Ugh. afford to wait. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. Uh. I'm gonna take a shower. All right, let me help you. You just met this man off the street. What are you talking about? Let him. Let me help you. You just met him literally two minutes ago, and you gonna you gonna help him get in the shower? Ethan, like I said before, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna try and make you do what it do. I'm gonna try and make you do what it do because she wanted clearly. She done cleaned your wounds, gave you some I'll pills. I'll wait here until you come out. Okay. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, okay, my, my, my bad. What if he was like, I need you to finish the, finish, finish your job, nurse? What you talking about? You gonna, she peeking at him. You can, you have the option. Okay, she wanted bad job. Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. Never mind. What's your name? Tell him your damn name. What's wrong with you? Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Let's sneak around. Why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm I'm just passing through. And what else do you do, Madison? Um, Apart from fixing up strangers. Uh, tell him your profession. I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. Say something, Madison! Say something! He's coming! <laughs> sorry, y'all. No, sorry. Take a seat. Pretend like he wasn't doing shit. She Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Okay. I better get going then. She probably think he the origami killer. She just heard it on the news. By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. What did I just do? 
And now I'm back, Ethan. I don't have much time. I've got to find my son before it's too late. What did I just do? Man, I'm thirsty. Okay, okay. You had some Dom Perignon water in there. I kept it cold for you while I was, uh, Madison. Well, while I was Madison, I definitely might have screwed you in the, in the long run. Because now she thinks that she has clues of the origami killer. But she don't know that that's your son that was on the news, Ethan, also. But you going to... Oh, my gosh. Okay. This is, this, is, this is getting excellent. This is starting off excellent. I needed this gameplay to be excellent. Okay. I'm still in pain, but I gotta keep going. Okay. The box. I have to open another origami figure. Hold on, before we do that. I don't know why she helped me. I hope she won't tell anyone. She might not have if, Oh my gosh. Okay, so th it's this kind of game. Alright, let's get to it. Don't worry about the door. Why does it keep asking me about the door? It's time. I don't care if it's shaking, it's time. Next clue. Next clue. Pick the dolphin. Okay, so you chose the butterfly. Butterfly effect. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son the old power plant on Empicardo Street? Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? Oh, Ethan. Haven't you suffered enough? You poor white man. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Who developed this? Who developed this? Quantum Quantum Dreams? Is that the name? I'm gonna give you your props right now. Just know that if that decision takes a bigger effect than I assumed. Yo, you got all the props in the world. You better than Telltale. If this ends in a better way, nah, I'm not gonna say that much, cause season one of Walking Dead was one of the most fire decision-based games I've ever played in my life. The following two seasons, I'm not too sure about. But what can you what can you do? They kept it going. Was that the first time? That I killed somebody? Yeah. Sorry. I believe. First time you killed somebody. Is it? It always does something to you the first time. Cinematics. And you get used to it. Be aggressive, because he was pushing them. If you hadn't acted like that for the guy, it wouldn't have happened. So back off! Big moist eyeballs looking like a big fish. Big That's him. Big fish, bitch. Okay, hold up. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, we're looking for origami killer suspects right now. All possible leads. Miroslav Korda? Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Oh. Ooh. Shit, don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. Okay, okay, I'm ready. I'm ah. ready. Hey, man, watch it, ah. dude. Hey, what's the matter with you? Come on, these... Okay. Ooh, ooh, good move. Good move. I'm on it still. I hate how they make you flip the controller. Stay on him. Stay on him. Stay on him. Hey, watch it, man! No, you're not getting away this time. You're not getting away, my boy. Come on. Ooh! He's doing everything. Where, where's your... Jaden, come on, bro. Where's your, where's your partner at? Come on. Nah, not... I can't tell which command is which. Oh, I'm on him, though. X. Hey man, watch it. Ooh, you watch it. Ooh, good move. Hold up. Stop that guy. Good move. When it shows the controller, I do the oh. Ooh, good tackle. You can finish it though? He wanna fight with me. Hey man, what you from? Ooh, good move. Ooh, good move. Got him again. Square. Square. I'm not I'm not ruining this. I'm on it. Big ass chicken coop. Big ass pull your chickens. Oh. Get off me. Get off me. Go back the door. And boots. Oh, 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm on it though. He wants a problem, Jaden. He wants a problem. No way he's escaping. I'm gonna get that bastard. Yeah, where's your partner at? Where's your partner at? Where the fuck is Blake? Come on. Show your ugly bastard face. Damn place is freezing. My hands are numb. I forgot how to move for a second. It's, it's right triggered. Where'd he go? I can't see anything here. Okay, all his thoughts are out. All his thoughts are out. All his thoughts are out. Find Cordo, Jaden. Stay sharp, Jaden. Oh! Good move. Come on, get good move. Excellent move. Nah, nah, I checked him. I was ready for the sprawl. Ooh, good dodge, good punch. Square, get the pole back before you get stabbed. Okay, good block. Oh, I'm smashing that, I'm smashing that. I'm smashing that. How he still get the move off? Ooh, triangle, that's... Blake, Blake, Blake. Anywhere, anytime. Oh, I see him, I see Blake coming in. I see Blake coming in. I see Blake coming in as I finish the job, though. Look at Blake coming on the left. I think I seen him come in. How'd you just get here? This time it looks like we got our origami killer. You see the action reflexes by your boy, yours truly. This is why I do this. This is why they pay me the big bucks. Let's go. Let's get back to Shelby. I love Shelby the most. Is he drunk off some bourbon? I... I feel him. I feel him. It's a Wednesday. It's slow. He at the office. Wake up, though. Mm. He said, oh. <laughs> Get up, dude. Mm. <sighs> what you thinking about? I've seen the parents of all the victims. And all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. Can't breathe this goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining soon. I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. Okay, so to the left is his desk to the... Okay, so let's check your desk for everything first. He was already talking about his asthma. Hit that. It's your mouth. Where are your lips? They've gone missing too. <laughs> that should be your next case. <laughs> that's, that's messed up. Should you be drinking that? Nah, put that down, dude. You get to work. That's like the good and the bad option right on top of each other. Check the other drawer. I really stopped him. He was like right here with it. That's your badge? You reminiscing about the good old days before you had that gut? I'm not gonna flame you no more. You don't deserve it. Oh, oh yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, make sure you keep that on you. Yeah. Why would you take the, oh, okay. You just wanna pet it and make you feel like a man? Weak, I'm just playing. All right, I, I keep saying that, I just play. I just, I keep saying that. I'm gonna stop saying that so much. I'm gonna say it again later. Okay, let's go to some files. Boring. Boring. Absolutely nothing in there. So this office is just for show, huh? Just for when you bring your wife in here, you can be like, yeah, I'm Detective Shelby. <laughs> First precinct. And then she get all wet. Let me chill. Let me chill. YouTube gonna hear that and they gonna be like, Berlizzi, there goes all oh, your coins. Can you take a nap? You could take a seat or you could take a nap in here? Okay, let's get to work. What am I supposed to be doing? Are you hungry with it? Guess you can't fight crime on an empty stomach, right? This man goes straight for the alcohol every time. Imagine I just gave him shots of everything he got in here. What was that? It said tamale on it. That's what you like? Tamale sauce? Straight? 
No chaser? I'm just talking. What is this? Okay, so th th these are some elements that definitely need to be critiqued. Um, why are y'all giving me all this option, wasting my Elgato save space with random bull? None of this was important. Only important thing was this asthma attack that, that I prevented. Leave that the only option, Quantum. You're doing too much. These is kids. Unless this game, no, this game wasn't meant for kids. This game wasn't meant for kids at all. The kids be watching it. Who is that? That was you in your former life? When you first signed on before you regretted you, you regretted your job? Is this your house, Shelby? I'm just not realizing this your house. It's cl Okay. Okay, this is the bathroom. Okay, Quantum. You 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 Quantum, I swear you have a way of like just keeping me enthralled in this. The second I start to the slightly uh, disengage, I re-immerse. That's the opposite of, of immerse, y'all. It's disengage. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Can I come in? Sure. Um, Shelby, where's your wife? <laughs> I don't see a ring on that finger. Take a seat. Please, take a seat. <laughs> she like what she see, I can tell. She been thinking about that ass beating I gave that dude ever since I left her, her house yesterday. But it's cool. Okay, let's talk. I'm gonna take a seat right here. Is that okay? Of course it's okay, it's your office. I just remembered something. You didn't just remember. Maybe it's not important. But a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? You remember anything else about the letter? She has Well, it. I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Never mind. Here we go, Alan Winter. Um. No sender. Hmm. It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Johnny disappeared. Hmm. Carnaby district. That's the same street that Ethan be freaking out on, going. <gasps> yeah, y'all know what he do. Open it. Oh, nothing particular. Except. The address. Carnaby Street? The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Oh. Could be a lead, you never know. That's the same typewriter that I got that letter from Ethan talking about. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. Um, uh, make it clear. The answer is no. There you go. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Um, that's pretty dangerous, don't you Listen, think? An investigation like this is dangerous, and I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? Not shit. This envelope may be your only link to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. Do I get the You're option? really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Damn. Are we partners? I'm a shake. I'm a shake. Yes, we are. <sighs> Oh, partners. I didn't even have the option. Okay, cool. I was going to say we're partners either way. Oh, we really out here riding like some Bonnie and Clyde. Y'all even know who Bonnie and Clyde is or y'all just know the phrase? Y'all know that was a movie, right? 
I gotta get back posting on other channels. Like, <laughs> I can't just be playing video games forever. I gotta do other stuff. There's, there's a lot of stuff I wanna teach and show y'all about life in the classics before Bad Barbies and uh, diss tracks. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. Okay. Okay, this music gonna for sure get copyright. It's cool, though. It's an exclusive party? Dude, don't turn what around. What are you doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wood tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the Oregon killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Where are you going? Come on. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy is just a little bit paranoid. What else? Stupid to bring Lauren. I don't do partners too well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid envelope. Right. Security guard earned his payoff. Seems there really is a party going on tonight. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's not waste no time. Okay, it's this kind of party. Shelby, you don't know what to do here. I'm gonna be honest. This music gonna give me... Okay, we know what's gonna happen. What a joint! Kramer must be loaded. What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? We'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back, okay? Okay, just let me know if you need me. Nah, turn up, turn up, have fun. Go find yourself a drink or something. Just don't snort nothing, don't pop nothing, don't eat nothing. Actually, don't drink nothing either. He like, what am I doing here? Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep hearing your thoughts. Hmm. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. Hey, good looking girl. Keep your mind on the job, Scotty. Hi, great party, huh? Hi. <laughs> I forgot I'm recording. I guess whatever. Booze, babes, and coke. Boy, Kramer seems to be quite the party now. This dude think he really getting it in right now. He is though. He got three of them. Oh, he working them. Can I get in? Shelby, get you, get you some of that. Shelby, you're embarrassing me. I haven't seen Lauren for a while. Better see what she's up to. Don't know why they have that goddamn music so loud. Can't hear myself thinking here. For the vibe, nigga, what you mean, why throw the party? For the vibe. You okay? I really don't like this place. Did you find out anything? I want to get out of here. Not yet. Gordy's a hard man to meet. Well, I'm going back in. Hang tight. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Can we go outside? She back there twerking on him too. Oh my gosh. That means he's gotta be upstairs and maybe, 
you know what I'm saying? I can get up there with a friend or a girl. What happened to the dude that was over here smashed? Okay, he's still he's still smashed. Hi, I'd like to see Gordy. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Look, here's Mr. Franklin. He says I should go up. You talk so crazy if I shove that wall down your throat? Beat it! I ain't for sale. That was kind of stupid. Gordy rich as hell. Obviously, he not gonna get bought. If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Start a start a fight. Uh... Excuse me. I I'm looking for Gordy. I, I saw him going upstairs a while ago. I'd be surprised if he comes down again this evening. You gotta start a fight, Shelby. I'm gonna try and start one. Cause that way the guards will walk away. This walking mechanic is trash. Introduce yourself. No, I just say the music bumping. Uh, music's a little loud, isn't it? Hi, I'm Scott. <laughs> oh, beat his ass. That's the first one you need to start swinging on right here. Nah, you gonna get kicked out. Tell, tell. Whoa. There we go. You see that guy over there? Oh. Do you know what he said about you? What he say? The bastard! Oh, sort him I'm out. too good. I'm too good. I'm too yeah. good. Oh. Or this is just too predictable. What would my other option have been though? Were you talking about my brother, you big monkey? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thinking, oh, oh, yeah. You think you're a big man. I'm a bigger man. Ah, you just know. Hey, 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 hey. Don't say a word, baby girl. I'll see you later. I'm talking to you, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm too what nice with it. You think about my mother? You, nah, you Why are we still listening to him? He's not even talking about nothing. He's just drunk mumbling at bull. How many times did he say, do you know who I am? He just got slapped, dog. Gordy, I got some questions to ask, my dude. And they're on their way back! Uh, okay. Any thoughts? <laughs> no thoughts, let's just engage. Yo, Gordy. <laughs> Mr. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. He wired. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Yeah, he wired. <laughs> Slap him. <laughs> they just over there getting it in, though. <laughs> don't look over there, kids. They getting it in, but don't look over there yet. Not yet. I'm not wasting no more time. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it. You hear me? Get the hell out of here. Oh, he come to the girls. Hey, what look. do you want? Accuse him. He drunk. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get into your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated. Until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. Ooh. Now, what I want to know is what really happened. Ooh. You know, just so I make sure that you had nothing to do with the origami killer. Do I make myself clear? Oh, we know about your money. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? No, nah, you don't, no, nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not buying that. I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap, now tell me something I can't believe. There we go. There we go, that was smooth. That was smooth. You hear the music kick in? That was smooth with it. Let's get it. 
Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? Whoa! This interview is over. Whoa! Whoa! Get rid of this clown! Let's... <sighs> Come on! Shelby, it's always you, bro! Damn! <laughs> oh, bitch! Uh-huh. 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 Oh, no, I'm not losing this fight at all. Trust me. I'm on it. Yeah. No, get, get down from there. Yeah, yeah, you're... Pause. Square. Okay. Triangle. Yo, Shelby knows of some Brazilian jiu-jitsu moves. He said this is that Krav Maga training. I'm a black belt. Okay, hold on. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this dude, this dude laughing at credits. That's not even a funny scene. Psycho. Ooh, y'all know what I wanted to say just now. Oh my gosh, Ethan, you're an innocent man and nobody's there to believe you. Shelby Noto. Wow. Oh, this is Ethan. He's showing up to that address. Talking about, are you ready to... Ethan still got a son to save. Ethan still got a son to save. You got to get in there, Ethan. So Gordon is the origami killer. He just admitted it. Live. Y'all seen it. I know y'all didn't believe it, but y'all seen it. How could you not? Now, sh now, now, Ethan, dude, my my thing just keep turning red over here. Hold on, there we go, there we go. Calm down, Mike. Now, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Now, where am I supposed to go? There must be a clue or something. The origami figure was in the form of a butterfly. So, am I looking for a butterfly? I see you. I see you thinking. It might be a trap. I had better be careful. This is the old Pico power station. I thought it was abandoned. There's a butterfly on the wall right there. Good dude. Okay, let's just let me just take a look around real quick, y'all. Real quick, y'all hear me? Please don't allow me to walk all the way over there. Please don't allow me to walk all the way over there. Not a damn thing useful. Let me check this pickup truck, though. Your son out here drowning, and you wasting time trying to check people's cars. For what? Batteries? Sticks of gum? Other miscellaneous items? I'm smashing eggs. I can't... S okay. So I gotta keep looking around. Okay, we on the other side. We on the other side. Well, I don't understand is what city is this where it pours rain... Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this the entrance, y'all think? Let me, just, let me just, let me just secure the premises. I already did the other side. Let me just secure the premises. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There go the butterfly door right there. There you go, get up inside. R1. R2. Ah! Okay, well now you got uh, potential HIV, syphilis, and hepatitis uh, 
DNA inside your body. You didn't need that, but you had no choice. You know, I was smart enough to check out the door when I secured the premises. Let's go inside. Wait a minute, there's an origami piece. Oh yeah, we stuck, we stuck, we stuck, we stuck. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool, I should, I sh The door is stuck, I'm locked in. I probably, I probably couldn't have read that, it would have gave me an option to read that, come on now. Or maybe he was waiting on me to slow down. Fuck. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm smashing this, this X button. It's a box of matches. No, no, no. That could be oil. Stop it. Yeah, come on, come on. We gotta, we gotta just make moves at this point. Of course, of course. What did you expect, Ethan? Come on now. And nobody even out here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we, we need thoughts. We need thoughts. We need thoughts. Where's this pipe go? I've got a bad feeling. I should never have got into this pipe. It's suicide. Don't don't say that. Don't say that. Here go here go here go glass. Here go glass. Here go glass. Oh my gosh, this is some saw shit. Glass, broken glass. Uh-huh. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it, slowly, so I don't tear up my arms. I got you. I got you. Uh-huh, I got you, don't worry. I'm going as slow as I am, slow as possible. That's a light, that's a light R2 tap. That's a light R2 tap right there. I'm giving it at least 25% normal pressure with infinitely slower release times I mean faster release times okay you shaking the match flame it indicates where the fresh air comes from all I have to do is follow the wind okay that's your job not mine sir this is your kid I'm telling you to go right there you go I'm still I'm still using about 10% of my normal R2 power. <laughs> All right. Uh Ethan, it's not even a lot of glass and honestly it's all flat. How are you how is the potential of you getting hurt as extreme as you're making it? Suicide? This is suicide? It might be. We never know. This music going to be suicide to my ad revenue. Okay, put that out. This does nothing for me as a player, I'm gonna be honest. Is that it right in front of us? Yo, E, yo, E, yo, E, get some flame in here. Get some flame in here, E. Okay, that's that, that that's looking like it's to the left. Are you, huh? I don't know which way you facing right now. The flame about to hit you in the face, I'm already knowing. I don't know what direction that says, Ethan. Please, Lord. I'm just trying to save this man's son. That's all I ever wanted to do since the beginning was save this man's son. What are you thinking about, though? Keep it together, Ethan. Come on. Stupid fucking pipe. And Sean is going to die because of me. Don't say that. A draft. There's a slight draft. If I could figure out where it's coming from, it could lead me to the exit. Oh yeah, we see light, we see light. I've gotta get out of here. There's got to be a way out. 
Of course. I will not give up. I'm in this all the way to the bitter end if it saves my son. There you go. That, that's, what I, that's what I need you to be talking like. All the other stuff you're talking about is like... I don't know. You sound like... like you, you know what he sound like. It get wet. You meow meow ass. Okay. Come on, Sean. There's a trap. Come on, come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. I'm gonna get you up. Look at your knees. We got, I got you out though, didn't I not? What you thinking about? To jump or not to jump? Oh, fuck that. Don't even know where it leads. Could lead to hell for all I know. Okay, then you start talking like that now. Whatever, I don't really have a choice. On everything. There's no other way out. Let's make it happen. Right. I guess I don't really have any choice. But we hear the rainwater, though. Come on, Sean. I mean, Ethan, good lord. It's for Sean, though. Come on. I got my action buttons ready if you need them. Ooh, he really holding on. That's not even me. Oh, let go. Oh, that was me. I suffered for my son, though. I did suffer for my son, though. Whoa! Oh my gosh. What's going on? They need me. Oh, what is this little Tom and Jerry bullshit? Had me running through here like a rat and some cheese. You know what? Jer Jerry never wanted cheese. Did you ever see Jerry eating cheese? What was you after? He was after some pussy, clearly. And don't, and don't demonetize me for that, YouTube, because we know what I'm talking about the kitty cat. Meow, meow. I better leave while I'm still alive. I'm not gonna save Sean by dying here. Or, or? I didn't come this far to give up now. I've gotta go all the way if I wanna save Sean. So, we will do what now? I must have lost a lot of blood. I can hardly stand up. But? Better have a good look at each one of those condensers. If I choose the right route, I'll have a better chance of coming through this in one piece. Got to concentrate. The slightest wrong move and I'll get an electric shock. I'm not gonna let you die. A butterfly. There's a butterfly over there. That's where I should go. The spaces are different. Some condensers look easier to pass than others. I'm gonna have to find another way out. Nah, stop. A field of electric condensers. Looks like the last trial before reaching the butterfly. These condensers are alive. If I so much as touch them, I've had it. A field of electric condensers. I've gotta go through them to reach that butterfly. What butterfly are you talking about? Dude, this man is really beat down. All right, Ethan. Let's just say coward on it. Oh, that's that's how you leave if you don't want to do this. No, I'm gonna do it, but where do you see a butterfly, Sean? I mean, Ethan? I keep calling this man Ethan. I know he probably feels some type of way. What? This looks crazy. This looks absolutely crazy. Ugh. I don't even know what butterfly you're talking about, but I'm gonna try and make it happen for him. Ethan, this is so stupid. You're not getting through that. There's literally no way he's getting through that. I can smell burning. Is it me? Oh my gosh. 
We're going through this one over here. You can't even go through that one. Ethan, we gonna try this one more time. I'm gonna push every button I can for you. If you die on oh, everything, this is that. That's just that's just that's just you. That's the life you chose. I'm already I'm already I'm already messing up with this hand placement. Good move. Good move. What the fuck? This was a foolish one to choose. That looks, that looks doable. My hands are sweating like crazy, Quantum Dreams. Quantum. No more buttons, Quantum. That's enough right there with it. Ethan, you only got... Okay, I'm starting to see the openings, though. I'm starting to see the openings, though. Ethan, you only got one chance... Oh gosh, the X too? There need to be a damn camera on my controller right now. No. No, make sure you can get through it if you're gonna try it, Ethan. There, there it is, there it is. I'm gonna do triangle circle on one hand, L1 starting with the other. Then I'm gonna cross my thumb over with the left hand and place it on X. Now, Ethan, are, are your injuries better? You feeling more confident? That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Square. I'm gonna R1 with the one hand, and then I'm gonna, ooh! I, w I want y'all right now to go grab your PS4 controllers, rewind that part, and then try and push it like I just did. And let me know if it was easy or not for you. I know it wasn't. Y'all niggas not gonna tell me the truth though. That's crazy to me. Did I just screw myself, y'all? No. No. Climb back through, Ethan. Climb back through. This ain't the way. This ain't the way or the truth or the light. There you go. There you go. I did it! But I did it though. Oh, it's a Smash X. It's a Smash X. For how long? Bruh, you couldn't be closer, bruh. This is it, this is for the marbles. Oh my gosh. Praise him. I can smell burning. Is it me? Probably. You got you a memory card though. Congratulations. What are that, that load more letters into your address? by the time we get to him. He gonna be super dead. I'm gonna try and stop it, but... You see how close that water was to his neck? We have three more origami pieces in there. Oh, man. My God, you look so exhausted. Sean, I'm there. I'm with you. The water level has risen again. A few more hours and he won't be able to breathe. I'd do anything to get you out of there, Sean. 
anything. Oh, man. Okay. That took way longer than it needed to. I was wondering when we was gonna get back to her. Snooping ass. Is that your room or Sean's? Oh, it's Sean's. I mean, Ethan. Oh my God. I wanna know what she think about him now. Calm down, girl. There must be something I can do to help him. Oh my God. What happened to him? I gotta call a doctor. I can't just leave him like this. I'll get him to bed. He's unconscious. He's bleeding. Shit, what could have happened to him? I'll get him to bed. Yo, E. They both really sleeping out of hotel, motels right now. Cause they don't want to go home. So on one hand, we got, we got Shelby trying to stop the origami killer. And on the other hand, we got Ethan trying to stop the origami killer in another way, shit. What do Jaden got to do with anything, though? We got the wrong guy. Jaden and Blake. Ethan. Ethan, can you hear me? Yell louder. What are you thinking? She's not thinking a thing. Let's let's just let's just snoop around a little bit more while we're here. Okay, so so you don't want to check the Madison cabinet for them high. Oh, I can check his box right now. But she might know something. That's the thing. Why is she freaking out like that? Nah, 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 nah. I mean, I, we got to wake him up after we look at it. Origami figures. What is he doing with them? Now we can ask. Look, if Shelby got to help, Ethan need help. They both need girls. They do, shit. Everybody do. You okay, buddy? He got a high fever, huh? You've got a hell of a fever. That's what I was trying to tell you ass earlier. He's made me crawling through the sewers with it. Are those burn marks on your chest? You don't know the half of it. Arms look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. There you, you go. Get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. There you go. There you go. There you go. Let's see how bad it looks. What's the status? What's the status? Damn. Ooh. Go get the medicine. What are you doing? Get up. You need to think about it. I've never seen anything as bad as this before. How did he get this way? Thank you, don't make me do that idiotic medicine choosing. You do everything, I don't, mm, okay. You can do what you want. You can do what you want. <laughs> Just playing, y'all. I'm no doctor, but I'll do what I can. That's all I'm asking. First things first, medicine. Make sure he feels anti-fever. Let those work while you're disinfecting. 
We're not doing any more painkillers. You were told not to take any more. You thought I forgot, didn't you, Quantum? I know y'all did. I know y'all did. That's crazy. He already took three. It's probably why his blood rushed into that one spot right now. I don't even know if that's if that's factual or not. Be smooth with it, though. Be smooth with it. Be smooth with it. Just dab on him. Just dab on him like you got a rolly, rolly, rolly with a dab of wrench. Nah, disinfect his chest, his chest next. His chest look like a, a pepperoni pizza with it. Then pepperoni nips. Your wounds are disinfected. You did nothing with his chest. R apply some ointment to his chest and then bandage it up. What is that, Ben Gay? She said, let me put this Ben Gay on your open burns. <laughs> Ethan, you haven't said one word. Is your voice broke? Say, th the pain. say thank you or something. I wouldn't come back and help you. you way too sketch. You can make one joke. Ease the tension a little bit. Man, this girl so... Nah, she too fine to be desperate. What the f... Oh, I'm just supposed to keep going with it? While this animation continues? Whatever. They should they should tell their players that I'm gonna stop going on this game. I'm actually pretty immersed. Just moments like these, I disengage a little bit. Oh well, it's a, it's a, it's a smash triangle. Yeah, moments like these, I for sure disengage, without a doubt. She is so thick, though. Rub his back. You gonna hug him? Or are you wrapping him with bandages? I said you gonna hug him. Wrap it up. That's all I can do. How do you feel? Ethan? Say something. What's wrong with He's you? He's unconscious. Oh, now wow. we'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. Now, if you thought I wasn't gonna go to that box now, she really gonna stand there and wait for your boy. She has nothing better to do. Or she's just a good friend, a good person. She could be that too. I'm just wondering why, you know? Everybody got a motive. Everybody got a motive. Everybody got an agenda. Ooh, that's some good stretch. Ooh, that was a good ass stretch. If I do say so myself. Let's go. Let's go. Ethan, you look like a little mouse. How do you feel? And you look like a big owl. A big hoot hoot. Six, six. I've been better. I was, was gonna I say for long? I was gonna say OV, three hours. OVO six got out, but it sounded creepy. Why the guardian angel act? You don't even know me. Thank you. When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. Whatever. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. You gotta wife those. You gotta wife those. They're rare. If you got you a guardian angel at the house, uh, take care of her. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? Before I do. Tell the truth. I, um, I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. You said a dry spell? I do what I can to live with it, but uh, it's not easy. What's been going on? Yeah, you gotta, uh, what's, 
What's going on with you? You seem to lead a dangerous life. Yeah, I've been through your box. It's not the one I chose. Uh, say sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be asking you questions. I mean, after all, we hardly know each other. You have no reason to trust me. Don't be a weirdo. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. No, I'm here to help. Maybe I could help you. I... No one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. I knew I should have clicked hypothesize. Hypotheses? Take care. Hypothesize? I should have just been like, I think you're the origami killer. And he would have been like, uh, no, I'm not. But now they just left on weird terms. They're probably not going to see each other ever again. I don't want that girl to get involved. Yeah, clearly. No one must know until I find my son. Well, she, she shit, she been, she, oh my gosh. She know, dude. She know. Must, must stay on my feet. I'm coming, Sean. I'll find you wherever you are. I need to get going. I've already lost too much time. Then let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's not waste no more. You have so many more origamis to unfold. Are you prepared to make a sacrifice to save your son? 9711 Marble Street. Oh my gosh. A sacrifice? You've unlocked a new bonus. Well, okay. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I was holding, man. I already told you. I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! This dude just want to get paid. He don't even care about the the right killer. He just he just want to get the, the the fucking case over with. Ash. Okay. Oh. Sean Moss's mother's here. She'd like to speak with you. What was the wife's it was name? A few months back, the middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection. But the next day, there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake, and this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. That's fair. But we're my the police. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. Move, shrink. What does that mean? I'm Sean do Mars' it. life may depend on what you know. Tell us what you know, Doctor. Oh, good, good, Are good. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. What? I suggest you take it. Blake, everything I choose doesn't matter. Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. 
Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose my temper. Blake, stop that. Immediately. Let go of me. You... You have no right! <laughs> Jaden is absolutely worthless, but he took it, but he caught a body, though. Damn! Damn! Oh, get up, Ron Weasley. Before he beat your ass. Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. No, this ain't right. This ain't right. Stop it. Stop it. What's up with you, Norm? Are you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like, so you're going to stop this shit right now. There you go. There you go. Get big on that nigga. I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. He feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. Oh, Ethan, you are so screwed. Oh my gosh. I have a feeling what's going to happen. They're going to end up going to that motel somehow. I don't know how they're going to find him, but that girl Madison going to be there and she going to coincide with everything that they already thinking. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. DJ, I get it! I see it now! <laughs> this shit wild. Okay. Okay. Bruh, I was really about to... Who is this? Thursday, 7 a.m. Oh, this was his name, Dad. Gordon Dad. Oh, Shelby about to press Gordon Dad. I think. Remember? Gordon was like, I'll just have my father kill you with a flick of my finger or something like that. Look at them trying to get... Man, he, he, okay, let me chill. This straight nice shot. This straight Caucasian activity. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no, thanks. Maybe that's not his daddy. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no balls. danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. Can I get some thoughts real quick before we do this? Why are you sizing me up? Why are you checking me out? Pause. No thoughts? No thoughts? Oh, I could've used some thoughts right now. The balls are in that basket. No thoughts still, Shelby? Okay. Think about where your lips have gone. I haven't forgotten, you shouldn't either. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. When I feel ready, you swing. Oh, I'm, okay, I thought it was a R1 and then let go. But it's a L1. And then it's a, uh, it's a up. And then a all the way down. I, I like that. That was L, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. Y'all embarrassed? Oh, 
Shelby, you see that? What, what's going on? Get to work. Ask him some I'm questions. you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. There we go. Gordon Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. Yep, Gordon. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. Come on. Get a good ball so he know you're not scared. There you go. Not shaking nor stirred. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. <laughs> He's like, damn, you, you got me there. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. Well, you should talk to him about that. I heard some interesting things. With all things. due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm taking no shit. You're the detective here. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby, and I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Come on. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Aw. Oh. Aw, oh, you gotta come harder than that. You the police. I bet if he was black, he would've said some cool shit. Nah, he's probably scared. This man look crazy, and he got money. Watch this form, I'll be all off. Nah, this form was still spot on, kind of. Oh my gosh. Can we, um... Can we get back to Ethan? There we go. There we go. It's late right now, y'all. That's why I keep yawning. I'm so proud of myself. I recorded it instead of beat off. Are you ready to sacrifice, Ethan? Because everybody thinks that you did it and you're trying to save your son so bad. Mm-hmm. Give me some thoughts. I see the snake on the ground right there. Where are you, Sean? There's been a fire in here. Everything is all burned up. 9711 Marble Street. It's the right place, but what am I supposed to do in this dump? Still feeling weak. I can hardly stand. The pain's coming back. Drugs are beginning to wear off. We should have brought some from the crib. Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff. Are one of them supposed to be filled with something? Put it down. What are we doing? Oh my gosh, no, no, it's one of these shake them all type shits. I don't have time for this. Yes, I do. It's so late now. I got shit to do, but it's like, come on. Oh, okay, Quantum, I see you. You made it within the first three. Thank you for that. Smash it. Oh, and then you turn off all the other ones. Excellent. Excellent. I see you, Quantum. I see you, Quantum. That was very thoughtful. Let's get up in here. It's trial time. Trial, no errors. Come on, Ethan. I'm gonna need you to stay sharp. Do y'all remember when this game started and we were shaving Ethan's beard and life was good? Now this man being accused of mass murder. 
including the death of his own son, his own seed. Now, now, what do you think? Okay, that's wild. What is that? A zoom? That's a zoom. Y'all remember zooms? <laughs> That's a big ass zoom. Let's check the rest of this room before we sit down and start watching Netflix real quick. Ethan, what is? Okay, okay. Check all the rooms, Ethan. Yeah, this has been a serious fire. It is so ominous in here. It's an ominous setting, but it's also a very immersive setting. I'm in, I'm, I'm engaged. Immerse, disengage, not not engage. What is that? Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? Wow. You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. Oh my gosh, we were supposed to look around, Ethan. We were supposed to look around for for anything. They leave you this they leave you some scissors, bro. Okay, sit down. Sit down with them. We got to do it. Uh, do you have any? Hold on. Let, let's think about this first. Let's think about this first. Do it fast. You won't feel it. Won't feel a thing. Got to keep a clear head. Everything's going to be okay. I'll be able to get through this if I just think out exactly what I have to do. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. There you go. I'm going to do it. I'll do it oh. for Sean's sake. Oh. I'd do anything to save my son. 30 seconds left. Deep breath. <laughs> Fuck. Trying to get him to calm down a little bit. If this man don't be calm and do this, he gonna die in here. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. You have four minutes left. Ah! Oh! I did what I had to, Sean. Under the desk. Under the desk? <laughs> the pain! My finger! My finger! Under the desk. Oh, I would have never. I don't. I would have never known that. I thought they meant like underneath, literally. I mean, whoever doing this recording, you Sean. So you had to do it. Now, if your son not dead yet, I'm be surprised. He's 
still in there. He's still in there. He's still in there. Let's see what it is. Back to the hotel. It's back to the hotel. Oh, Sean. Did he have to lose his fingers though? Did he have to?